Hello, this is Bhavik Desai from the Nutanix Tech Marketing Team. And in this video, I'll walk through some of the common vCenter settings to use on Nutanix. Let's get started. With the host added to vCenter, let's take a look at some of the vSphere settings that need to be set for the cluster. First off, let's look at VMware EVC. So we'll go ahead and enable EVC for the uh, host we have. In our, my case, that's Intel. And you set the CPU mode to Skylake, which is what I'm running, and turn EVC on. Next, we'll go ahead and enable vSphere DRS. We can enable vSphere DRS, and we can keep the settings at uh, the automation level fully automated and the migration threshold in between at level three. After that, uh, we'll enable vSphere HA. Let's go ahead and turn vSphere HA on. Uh, make sure that uh, the data store with PDL is set to disabled. Uh, data store with APD is disabled and VM monitoring is set to disabled. Next, in admission control, uh, you can either leave your host field of capacity to be determined by the cluster resource, per resource percentage, or you can override that uh, with uh, defined values and to know which values to uh, put in you can refer to the vSphere best practices guide. Now a standard for a four node uh, cluster with N plus one failover capability is to set both the CPU and memory capacity at 25% each. So we'll do that. Uh, next for the heartbeat data stores, uh, go ahead and select the mounted uh, container, uh, the shared uh, container uh, on the host as your heartbeat data store. You can just go ahead and Hit OK, and that will turn on vSphere HA. Uh, after that, the next step is to make sure we add some VM overrides. And in our case, that would be uh, adding all the CVMs where, um, let's take a look. Uh, so all the CVMs uh, make sure that the DRS automation level, the VM reset priority, and the VM monitoring is set to disable because we do not want these settings to take effect on, on the Nutanix CVMs. And finally, for all the data stores mounted uh, on the uh, cluster, make sure that uh, storage IO control is set to dis disable. After these settings are set, the final step is to make sure to register the vCenter server with Nutanix Prism so that uh, the vCenter server and Nutanix Prism share stats and information with each other. To do that, let's go to, to Prism console and go to settings and put a vCenter registration over here. I've already registered uh, the vCenter instance uh, with my Prism, but uh, uh, it would be automatically discovered and you can go ahead and hit register over here, uh, provide the uh, login credentials and that will go out and register the vCenter server with Prism.